Today we're going to create the anemone. You're going to need three Floriano punch shapes, three of the starburst shape, one five point star flower from the petite petals, one alpine snowflake, two grape leaves, and six daisies. You'll need to apply ink to the center of your Floriano shape and then you'll cut them apart individually to create a total of 11 petals. So you will disregard these four and set them aside to create future flowers with. In addition to that, you're also going to need the McGill molding mat and tool kit, as well as clear, quick drying glue. To begin, we're going to take the 8mm stylus and we're going to cup the base, which is our snowflake, and also the five point star flower. Then we'll soften the petals, and we're doing this on the back. Once you have softened all the petals, we'll then pinch them here at the base, and this is what we're going to attach to our Alpine Snowflake. So you're going to pinch it and it's going to slightly roll back. And you'll do that for all 11 petals. Then with our clear quick drying glue, we'll apply just a little bit to each of the arms on the snowflake. And you'll attach all the petals to create the anemone. Once you've done that, this will be your bottom layer with the six petals, and this will be your top layer with the five petals. Then we need to create the stamen. We'll glue these two layers together. We'll set this one aside to dry. Earlier we had three starburst. I cut off the longest arms and overlapped them and adhered them together with the clear glue. Just like this. And then you end up with a piece layered like this. You then take two of the six daisies and overlap them, adhere them together, and you'll end up with a shape like this. And you'll glue these two pieces together. For a shape like this. Next, we'll take the four remaining shapes of the daisy and we're going to pinch them together and then we'll glue them one into the other, like so. So you'll use your clear glue, put a little bit on the bottom of each daisy and stack them together. And you will end up with a shape like this which we will then glue to the center of our previous shape. We'll then apply a little bit of glue here. And we'll attach our stamen right in the center. Hold that down for just a minute. And there you have an anemone. I've also created a card with the anemone using pattern paper just to show you that you can also add some whimsy to your cards 
and not all flowers have to be created as they were found in nature.